Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com and you join me today to look at one of Sony Alpha's uh, great autofocus features, which is IAF. Uh, we've had face detect autofocus for quite some time, but this just goes that one step further and finds the eye in the face and then locks that focus onto that eye. This is really great if you're working with very wide aperture lenses looking for that shallow depth of field. It's so easy just to miss that eye and lose the portrait. But this feature is so reliable, you're looking at a 98% hit rate on getting that eye sharp, even when we're working with f1.4, 1.8 lenses. Uh, as you can see in this illustration here, as the, um, the IAF works, is it locks on to that eye and gives you a confirmation by putting a little green square around that eye. In the later model cameras, such as the a7R2 and the a6500, you can actually work with um, IAF in continuous autofocus mode. So even if the model is moving slightly, uh, it's going to track uh, that model's eye forwards and backwards as the eye gets closer or further away from the lens. Now, um, because a lot of people have written such um, uh, uh, fabulous uh, reviews of this feature, uh, some newcomers come into the menus looking for the IAF feature. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just show you that if you're looking through the menus, you're not actually going to find a dedicated menu item for IF. We're actually looking at the menu items on a 6500 now. The autofocus features have been grouped onto three tabs, but IF doesn't make an appearance on those tabs. Uh, the secret for this is it's actually hiding. It um, actually can be assigned to a custom button and the IAF feature in the menus will only appear when reassigning or assigning a custom feature for a custom button. Okay, so I've come into the custom key shooting uh, option here in the menus. And then if we enter that, you'll see that the menu items are broken up over to two tabs. Now, if you go to the second tab, you're gonna see um, the AEL button option here. Now that's typically assigned an AEL, an auto automatic exposure lock feature. Now, most photographers, it's not a well-used feature and so would uh, like to reassign this button uh, for IAF. Now, um, uh, I'll just go and show you how that is actually done. We'll just select it, enter the menu, and then you're going to have to cycle down 10 or 11 options uh, to find the uh, IAF button. When you found it, um, just uh, click the center button on the back of the camera, and this will assign uh, IAF to that button. Um, once we come back out onto that menu, you can see now that I've got IAF assigned. Now, as I say, um, give, it a, uh, give it a workout. If you're working in single shot mode on an older style alpha camera, you'll just get that little green square appear momentarily to say the uh, focus is locked onto that eye. Uh, try, if you're working on one of the newer model cameras, working in um, continuous autofocus and then holding that AEL button down and, and that green square will uh, stick and uh, basically not go away and then track that eye. It's typically the leading eye, the one that's closest to the lens, but if um, it's slightly obscured or contrast is down, it'll go for the other eye. Okay, try out that feature. Uh, I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com. Um, just uh, share the information if you found it useful. Thank you.